Hi, and welcome to Awakening Starseeds TV. I'm your host, Christina Sloan, and I am so excited to introduce you to today's guest. Today we have with us one of the authors from Volume 1. Her name is Rachel Arcega. Welcome. Hi. Hi, How Christina. It's nice to be here today. How yeah. are you? I am doing so well, and I'm so excited to share you with the world. So I'm so excited to jump right in, and I basically want to tell all of you watching a little bit about Rachel before we go into all of it, and then we're going to jump right into her experience of being a best-selling author. So first and foremost, I do want to say congrats on being part of a best-selling book. Oh, thank you for that. I'm so excited. How does that feel for you, knowing that you've been working on this and now you're the very first one is a bestseller? Oh gosh, um, it's an emotional roller coaster. You know how we had to deep dive into this book, mm -hmm. um, going through deep parts of ourselves and relieving that um, that journey, the the things that we really don't want to go into, mm -hmm. but we have to. Mm -hmm and exploring that and um, I guess healing ourselves through that, through the story. Yeah, that's amazing. And I definitely wanna come back to that later because that's something I think a lot of people don't realize is that it's a really deep process to go through. So yes, we'll definitely circle back around to that. So for anybody who doesn't already know Razel, the way, and I know I'm not saying your name right every single time. Can you say it again for us? We make oh, sure. you did. Um, Rachel. Yes. Rachel. Yes. Okay. It's yeah. beautiful. Thank so, you. Rachel was born in 1970 in Manila, Philippines to Filipino immigrant parents. She grew up in Flushing, Bayside, New York, and then raised a family in Southern California. She's a mompreneur, community leader, health and wellness advocate, and a light worker. This is her first book collaboration, and she's so excited to share her story along with the other author's stories in hopes that others will open up their hearts and soon follow a path of their own awakening and self-mastery. So as you can tell, there is a lot of heart that goes into this. It's so much more than a book. And um, I'm going to ask a few more questions just so you can get to know the background. And I really want to invite everybody watching to see yourself in this because the purpose, and I think all the authors share this passion, is that they're just like you. They're people, you know, they're the same as us and they were the brave ones willing to share their story. <laughs> so I love for you to, you know, see yourself in this. So we'll start with a few rapid fire questions just to get to know you a little bit better. Um, and actually you already told us where you grew up and what you do. Um, and where where do you live now? You live in California? I live in Southern California in um, actually in a city called Chino okay. uh, in Southern California. Okay, awesome. Um, so if you had to summarize your current life lesson, what would it be? I think it's really important to find your true self. It's, um, it's, a, it's one of those things that we are not thought, uh, thought to do. Mm -hmm. We are born and we have all these experiences, but at the same time, we forget who we truly are. And with this book, I kind of had the mm -hmm. journey back to who I am, where I came from, what are we here for? Mm -hmm. And it, I think it's just uh, enlightening to know that there's others doing the same thing, mm -hmm. um, finding their own selves through all their experiences. And we each have our own unique story to tell. Mm -hmm. And through our experience and through our journey, I think um, that's the that's where we grow ourselves and heal ourselves and make the most out of what we're here for. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what, what is one thing that you do every morning, like as part, of your, as part of your ritual or getting yourself ready for the day? It's just being, having a quiet time in the morning, just mm -hmm. trying to be, to be with the one, be mm -hmm. with, um, you know, our, our source, our mm -hmm. God, our, um, the universe, just kind of, kind of connecting mm -hmm. and saying, Hey, I'm here to do what I need to do. And please help me guide me. Um, bring the people around, uh, bring the people who are meant to be, um, part of my journey. And that's how I start my day. It's just mm -hmm. opening up the door and 
you know, accepting what it is. <laughs> yes, thank you for sharing. There's some things in there that I will still, <laughs> it brings me into being <laughs> grounded. So thank you. Okay, so now I want to ask you a few questions about the book. So how did you know that you were meant to write a chapter for the Awakening Starseed series? I've been doing this healing journey since 2008 when, and I know it's in the book, um, when my marriage fell apart. And at the same time, I, I felt like I lost myself. So when this opportunity came about, I saw it as an opportunity to tell my story, to tell myself that I could do this, I could open up truly who I am. And I think it's just about time because it's, you know, I think it's healing for me, but I have a responsibility to help others as well. And that's how I, you know, that's how I feel this book is what's meant to be for, is to help heal ourselves and help to heal others. So when that thought came about, I said, I have to be part of it. Mm -hmm. And if it's meant to be, I will be part of it. And mm -hmm. here we are. <laughs> That's really inspiring. And it's very <laughs> clear that your intention is to serve and help others. So yes. Thank you for coming from that beautiful place. And I would love to circle back around to what you were saying before and have you tell us a little bit more about your journey, like the growth process you went through in writing this chapter and sharing your story. Yes, it's, it was very difficult because you know that parts of you had already grown from it, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you have to just kind of relieve the story because you have to tell it, you know, mm -hmm. why, how, mm -hmm. where did it all start? How did you become where you, you are right now? And I know it's just a portion of what our life story is, mm -hmm. but it's just the opening, the beginning of where uh, we expand our consciousness or we expand who we are and how I found out about it and as I mentioned it really opened up when some you know things didn't work out it wasn't working out in my marriage and I had two kids and um, I had to deal with a lot of things emotionally physically mentally you know spiritually and I feel like I really lost myself and I had to find my way back Mm -hmm. And I found my way back through um, through a spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. And through that spiritual journey, I, um, I met Radha and Maya and Mike and all these things just came together and just beautifully, you know, transformed mm -hmm. my life into who I am right now and who I want to be and how I wanted to serve others. So they have to read the book. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bottom line. <laughs> Everyone watching has to read the book. Because I don't want to cry <laughs> again. <laughs> well, and I really can get that, like you said, it was reliving it and maybe going into it even deeper than you had before. So I'm curious, have you, had you shared your story as openly as you did in the book before, or was this kind of the first time sharing it in this way? I think it's the first time sharing it this way because mm -hmm. I know that not a lot of people know what I've gone through, mm -hmm. how deep it was mm -hmm. um, and what I did. Um, some people are, you know, are thinking I just did, you know, change my diet, change my exercise because they see me, you know, doing mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. there's so much more because I did the, uh, did a deeper dive spiritually mm -hmm. I went to that process and um, get energy healing um, and really wrote down you know every day what I needed to do and every little thing that came through my path I lived a life of non-resistance because they said if you resist that's when the universe just you know um, won't work mm -hmm. so when I took the path of non-resistance everything flows and each person that came along a way had a story or had a purpose had something to give me um, a divine you know a divine message or something mm -hmm. and everything went beautifully till now <laughs> you know it's still <laughs> it's still a journey mm -hmm. it's still a process and it's just unfolding as we go along it's so beautiful right now <laughs> oh that's amazing and that's beautiful <laughs> to remember that it is a continuous unfolding and can still be beautiful 
during so beautiful but yeah. you, i think we do need to go to that darkness mm. to that yeah. em, you know trying to empty ourselves because yeah. we have to we really have to because mm-hmm. to find our um true divine selves mm-hmm. uh, the connection and i think that's where it is once you empty yourself you find that divine connection that it's so pure so energetic it's so there <laughs> it's so that's abundant <laughs> yeah i love the way you said that <laughs> and i'm curious another question is have you, do you resonate with starseed being a starseed? Have you always considered yourself a starseed or how does that um, occur for you? You know, um, I didn't know about the word uh, mm-hmm. uh, till, you know, a few years, um, just a few years ago. And I know that um, when I was going through the journey, you tend to just explore and find things. Oh, I went so far, so deep learning about DNA and learning about how we are connected to a lot of things cosmically Mm -hmm. in different dimensions in different place and time. And I won't, you know, I won't doubt that we have this DNA that we are part of the stars and the galaxies and all out there. So yes, Mm -hmm. I do feel like, you know, not even just having to explain it, you feel it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Cause I think that that's one thing is that a lot of people starting to go through this journey or in the journey who Mm -hmm. don't have support yet or aren't talking about it yet. It's kind of like, what, what is this? And am I, you know, what, what, what is it that I'm feeling? So I love what you just said there. I feel like that really can give a lot of people. Right. uh, One thing I'm going to say is um, we have to take out all these titles or notions you just have to feel it because once you feel it you'll understand more mm-hmm. than putting all these tags around it like mm-hmm. starcy what's that you know it sounds so crazy yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> when you talk to uh, i don't know once you know you kind of um attract the, the same people so you'll be on common ground when you start yeah. to explore That's so great <laughs> And I'm also, I'm curious, what would you say to someone who is considering becoming an author in a future volume and is unsure? I think you'll have all these thoughts in your mind, but you'll feel it in your heart. Mm. Like sometimes you, you'll have that invitation and you, it's going to keep tugging in your heart that you have to do this you have to write your story no matter what it might not be this volume it might be the next volume but then you'll have you know you'll feel that tug Mm -hmm. and if you resonate you'll know i think you'll deep down inside you'll know Mm -hmm. and you'll know when you're ready and you'll know when you're you know when put that pen into the paper even just start a one line and Mm -hmm. yeah it will start flowing I love that. Yes. Thank you for saying that. And I definitely hear in that trusting, like moving forward, listening yes. to the nudges. Yes. 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 Scary. Yes. yes. You already know. I think um, that ego part of us is stopping us mm-hmm. either because we're afraid. There's a lot of fear that you have to go through. There's a lot of fear. Like what if, you know, my, my parents won't like it or my mm-hmm. friends won't understand me. Why, you know, I feel like, a group of people might shut me down because I'm talking about different things that they don't normally talk about, Mm -hmm. especially those who are more into one faith. Mm -hmm. And I've kind of learned to embrace all faiths. Yeah. Especially if it's, you know, it's all for the good. (laughs) That's amazing. And I think I know that that is the big overall message and intention of awakening star seeds is having everybody feel seen and heard and something we talk about a lot a lot on the back end is like all the things you feel like you can't say freely in your life like you can say here you're safe oh, yes. here <laughs> yes and here yes so i want to thank you for sharing because everything that you said i feel like i know it resonates with somebody and somebody needs to hear it so thank you for being brave and oh. willing and for being our guest today. Thank you for taking the time and volunteering yourself to be with us and to support us as a community. I'm sure you're being tugged as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's all I'm
Yeah, so for anybody who is watching, I just want to say thank you for showing up and watching and supporting us and for yourself, you know, and if you are feeling that nug um, to reach out and maybe inquire about becoming an author yourself, please reach out. We have an application that is open for volume two of Awakening Starseeds um, and continue to watch because the more, you know, people share, the more I think we all feel connected and seen and heard. So we definitely want you to know that you are safe here. You are welcome here and we would love to have you. Mm -hmm. So please subscribe to Awakening Star Seeds TV to get um, updates as we release more interviews and more content. And yeah, if you're feeling the call, please get in touch with us. So thank you everybody. Thank you again for being such a beautiful guest today. Yes. And until next time. Bye. Bye.